We got tight, we dumped. In an uptrend, we got tight, we pumped. I'm gonna teach you a trick right now. Like the moving averages. When the moving averages get tight, it's a good buy-in. When they get far apart, it's telling you it's time to jump on out. If you were going to scalp the one hour on Bitcoin and you were looking at tight moving averages, specifically in a downtrend, look, when they got tight, we dumped. We got tight, we dumped. In an uptrend, we got tight, we pumped. I'm going to teach you a trick right now, right? This is how you know I'm doing this all the time. Look at any asset in the world. Whenever you get a four-hour candle above this, you, first of all, go to go to TradingView and open up a free account. You can also go to CoinTrader Pro, which is completely free. Watch this. I'm going to give you a free, rate, free way to do this. All right? You're going to type in BTC. This is free, right? I'm going to hook you up right now because I know you're struggling and I was struggling and not, you don't always, it's not easy. So you're going to go to Bitcoin. You're going to go to indicators. You're going to type in MA, all right? You're going to hit moving average. You're going to double click on that MA and you're going to change it to 200 all right bam hit the style make it bright yellow all right make it a little thicker than than you need it like something like that all right then you're going to add another ma all right into indicators this is all free and you can replay this whenever you want so i'm giving you free advice that you could use free free trading idea education it's not advice i'm not a financial advisor but and go to inputs make this one the 21 make this one a completely different color so it's completely opposite like a blue all right make this thicker as well so now you have the 21 and the 200 day moving average. Whenever the 21 and the 200 are getting close together, I use other moving averages too. Um, but whenever they're, you know, it's good to use the 52 and the, I, I like to add all of them. I like to add the 50 as well. I use five main moving averages, the 50, the 80, the 100, the, the 21, the 50, the 80, the 100 and the 200 day moving average. I use all five. They're basically kind of like a, uh, a ribbon in a way. Okay make this one like red i guess so whenever the 50 and the 21 are close together price action is usually going to pump up to the 200 sma there's a quick trick right off the bat whenever you see them close together here they're going to dump to the 200 sma either way right so there's one idea and this is all free i'm just showing you it's free now switch to the four hour time frame so you just got your answer right here this is your place to come if you want to learn but look the second price action gets above the 200 sma you open up along all right and a stop loss below either the 21 the 50 somewhere in this region and look at that. What a beautiful trade that would have made to the upside. All right. And boom. And now that trade could keep going too. And there's other things you can do on, on top of that. But look, the second the, the four hour closes below the 200 SMA, you put a stop loss on the other side of the 200 SMA, preferably on the 50 somewhere up in here. And you could have traded that. Now it came back up. When it came back again, you open up another trade, stop loss. And look at that. That's money. That's money. Second you get above here, you open up a trade. Stop loss on the other side of the 200 SMA and get paid. So this is just something you can do over and over again. Now the trades take long. They're not, they're, you know, and you don't know how long they're going to take. You can trail the stop loss, but this is how you do it. Okay. So, and this is free. CoinTrader Pro is free. Look, I didn't sign into anything. I went to CoinTrader Pro and just, I made this chart completely free. So don't say, Hey, I can't sign up to this. I can't afford that. And just stop making excuses. Don't make excuses for why you can't get it done. Cause you can. All right. And that's my number one rule is don't make excuses for yourself. It's just pointless. All right. All you can do is help yourself out. That's it. There's nothing else you can do. All right. Do not make excuses for yourself.